during the recording of this video, I was hit with over four copyright claims. Guys, I'm working on this video for 18 hours straight, so at some points where the video was better and I had video clips, they were replaced with photos just so I could get the video on time. I want to stick to my schedules. So I'm sorry in advance, guys. I don't have high quality videos, but I'm a new YouTuber. And as I learn, I'll find ways around that, the correct ways around it. Thank you for enjoying the video, and let's get to it. Hey, guys. How you guys doing? I think I'm really here. Welcome to the channel. Today, I want to talk about the Boruto anime and why I have a great appreciation for it and why you guys should too. No further ado. Let's get right into it. Please keep in mind that this is uh, primarily an anime and gaming channel, so I will not be discussing contents of the manga. And please keep the comments spoiler free of manga chapters, as some people may have not read the manga. Um, as I watch Baruto, I also watch several other animes and and programs as non-anime and I do game. I, what I am, I'm a term. Once again, this is what I do. I make up. Take two words, they're all words, put them together, and that's my new word. That's that's a Herculean way. And I am a dedicated anime revolver. And what that I am I matter of fact, I am a media revolver. And what that means is I'll be watching Naruto, right? I'll be watching like I'll be watching Boruto Next Generations. And I'll watch like 40 episodes straight, and then I'm like, oh shit, I wanna watch some Dororo. And then I watch Dororo for like 15 episodes. I'm like, hold on, wait. The problem is Neverland. My homeboy was telling me about that. And I will, I will have a whole bunch of shows in rotation, but none of them actually been finished. But And it's the same uh, for uh, video games. I actually have, like, I've never, like, the games, I, I I just give three, just for example. Three games I own. I've owned for a long time. I've never beaten. I've owned The Witcher 3 since 2017. Still have not beat the game. Haven't even entered the DLC um, realm of the game. I've had Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> since it first came out and I will never beat that game I will have to beat that game like live streaming like I would have to do I would need you guys to bear that goddamn pain with me for me to beat Mass Effect Andromeda and then something like Doom like I had Doom 2016 since 2016 never beat the game so I was saying that to see like with with uh, Boruto it took me a while to actually uh catch all up and actually catch everything but I'm here I'm here and I'm ready to talk about it but I like the Boruto anime a lot, and I think it realistically portrays the ninja world as it should, post-war. I'm not here to argue. What I'm trying to do is give you guys a different perspective. Here it is. Hercules here with a different perspective. All right? Um, one of the main reasons I uh, typically see that people don't like Boruto is it's too peaceful. It's, it's too, uh, too slice of life. For a for it to be as shown in the anime, um, I don't respect that critique because the show is a continuation of Naruto. Anything that you would say bad about the show Boruto is literally through the continuation of Naruto. And Naruto, you have Naruto is a Michael who has his dream being Hokage. Kill the day that I become Hokage. Whatever happens, there's no way I'm gonna die. Okay. And all, and in order for him to complete those goals, it's something that he set on himself. It's some that are set on to him by the ninja world. Some that are set on to him by his friends and peers and things of that nature. Like the invited within himself is he feel like he can't be Hokage unless he can save Sasuke. For the ninja world, uh, uh, it becomes uh, it, it comes out so inevitably in the ninja wards when. If if you can't if you can't stop the eternal war that's been going on, right? First, second, third, and eventually the fourth great ninja war. You know, you, then they don't feel like he could be Hokage. That's how I looked at it. That's how I that's how I interpret it through Kishimoto's pen penship penmanship. That is why Naruto is the end of all war. He's the end of the, the war between the shinobi alliances, between uh, the shinobi nations, between like the leaf and the sand and the mist and the stone and things of that nature. So, I'm trying to understand, did you guys want Boruto to start off with like a war against the mist village or something like Naruto did? 
Like, did you want, like, Boruto, uh, Sarada, Mitsuki, and Konohamaru to go off into, like, I don't fucking know, the Rock Village and end up fighting, like, some rogue ninjas there? I I'm trying to understand. Did you want to see the same thing? I don't understand. I never understood that argument. I just do not get it. And that, for the fuck of me, never will. The show is a continuation of Naruto. Naruto in an all war. So in order for Bad New to be a realistic, and I mean for a realistic, I just mean for continuity sakes, right? For it to be a realistic fucking anime and manga, you have to continue that peacetime at least long enough. And if that peacetime ends, let's be realistic. If that if that peacetime ends, the person who bought about that peace must die along with it. Oh, well, come on now. That's, that, that, that's always been my synopsis. What people are really asking for is like, are you, are you sure you know what you're asking for? Because Naruto bought about this peace and he worked damn hard for it. And you think him or Sasuke are going to let that shit just go without dying behind it? You're crazy. The moment that you, the moment that you, Boruto becomes what you want it to be, I, it's going to be so many sacrifices made. I guarantee you, Naruto or Sasuke or someone, like someone that you love from the show for so many years has to pass because right now there's no uh, tension in the show. And that is something I, I will kind of agree with because Naruto and Sasuke been around. Those are two god shinobis, and it takes it would have to be another god level shinobi for that to even happen. I, I just don't I just don't like that. I just don't like that opinion. You know, I, I just don't have a lot of respect for it because the show is a continuation of Naruto. Naruto in the war. So in order for the show to actually bring about its own villains, it needs a I hate to say it, long time to set up characters. I don't like Baruto because he is just still the opposite of Naruto. Um, yes. Thank God. Until the day that I become Hokage, whatever happens, there's no way I'm gonna die! Hey, Boruto. Honto wa anta mo Hokage ni? Ore wa Hokage ni? Not on it. Let's, let's be real here. All right. Boruto is an amazing character. Just uh, the, the standalone character of Boruto, you just look at him and his values and the things he cares about versus what he does not care about is fucking cool. I, I, ob objectively speaking, Boruto has done nothing bad in the sense of personality. And when I, when I, he has. Because I don't want to lie for the sake of my arguments. All right. I love the fact that I write down scripts, but I just don't follow them. Okay, let's let's follow the script a little bit. I wrote, Boruto is an amazing character, and the only reason, pe only reason people side with Naruto is because they follow him longer. People root for who they like, not who is right. You mean to tell me you mad at Boruto because he wants his dad, who never had a dad, to actually be a dad? <laughs> let's, uh, let's stop right there. I don't even need the script right now. That pissed me. That pisses me off. So much the people that do not like Boruto because Boruto didn't like Naruto. Boruto is he, he didn't he, Boruto really he cares about his, his his connection with Naruto, but it's really and and and, and in the beginning of the anime when Boruto was shown on this animosity towards Naruto, it's because of him worry. Like he got my like and, and that's and, and Boruto saying all these things with the lack of knowledge. I, from what I know, Boruto didn't know. He doesn't know about Minato and the whole backdrop of Naruto. Because he didn't. He, it's, it's actually true fact that he didn't know about, you know, his grandpa and all that stuff and how Naruto didn't have a father and all that. So he's saying that without it. I don't understand how people <laughs> can have Naruto. Watch, actually watch Naruto. And like, bro, I used to share tears early Naruto and see him on that stool and just seeing him be by himself and just... And just how he just wanted that, he just wanted anything. And, he, and when he go home to a little ass boy, home by himself, and no one cared about him. No father in sight, no family. I don't understand how y'all get mad at Boruto because he just wants Naruto to show up on his daughter's birthday. I never understood, like, and he, and, and it gets even, <laughs> it gets even worse when you just think about the fact that Naruto can create thousands upon thousands of shadow clones that do a, do his daily activities, his daily work activities. He can just show up 
at that real body just for that moment. I, I just don't, I never understood that. Maybe it's some explanation somewhere. If you guys know it, link it in the comments for me about why Naruto did not show up for Himori's birthday. Maybe it's something like that I just, I just don't know. Um, imagine Naruto just, you know, imagine Minato missing Naruto's seventh birthday or eighth birthday. I forgot how old Himori uh, was at that, at that point. Um, and, oh, my bad. Oh, he did miss it? And, and how was how did Naruto feel when he when when Minato missed all his birthdays? Exactly. So shut the fuck up. Um, here's one I see a lot. Uh, that the Boruto is a cheater. Uh, I was just like, I mean, like to that. I mean, he cheated, but I don't know. He's not a cheater. Uh, it's like he's a kid. He fucked up literally one time and will never cheat again. That's what kids do. They make mistakes and learn from them. Anybody who says Boruto didn't learn and change from that, it's a fuck nut. Characters are supposed to come with flaws and develop. Boruto can't have the same flaws as Naruto for two fucking reasons. One, because it's boring and repetitive as shit. And then two, because it's unrealistic. All of Naruto Trump's come from, sorry, his lack of actual book intelligence, right? A lot of it, like how he can't fuse his, how he couldn't get his chopper right for his shadow clones and he just couldn't pass all the academics that came with it in an academy, right? And he didn't have, like, it, it, a lot of it just came with a lack of intellect. Um, well, he had a kid with one of the smartest ninjas of the original 12. Like, I don't know what you expect. Sorry that Boruto is everything and Naruto isn't. Like, sorry that he's a master of the chakra style. Sorry that he has the dojutsu. Like, I don't... Sorry that he has a family. I, sorry that he has friends. I don't understand what... How do you hate those things? Like, I, it almost make me think, like, would you would would you people have liked Naruto if Minato was alive? Because that's what you're watching. Like I don't I I just don't understand that I, I, to a to a very large degree. Um. Okay, how about this thing, guys? Tell me something about Tamari, Naruto Part One. Tell me something about Choji or Eno. Give me some backstory on these people. You can't. And OG Naruto the current has had like little to no backstory, and you're mad because Boruto wants to flush them out. I'm sorry that I, they can't kill 64 Miss Ninjas by episode 10. I, I'm really sorry that it's like that, but, I mean, I don't know. Yes, it is lighthearted, and it does light the tension with Naruto and Sasuke around, but hey, guys, Hashirama was once around. Montato was once around. The third Hokage was once around. Raikage's was once around. Musikage, like, motherfuckers age. And motherfuckers die. And the motherfuckers get stronger. Just, just let the actual show develop. I seen it recently. It's been actually battling One Piece for number one on the manga list. It's been going like back and forth. Like, uh, like this week, it was uh, Naruto again or Boruto again. Like last two weeks, it was One Piece. But before that, the week before those last two weeks, it was Naruto Boruto. So I just think like some of the trumps against Boruto is really unfair, unjust, and I just think like I, I just think it's a good ass anime. I just no other way to say it. I just think it's a really good anime. I think it's real good slicing. It's good slice of life. It's good fighting. It's been good animation. And the characters, you care about them. I care about a lot of the characters. So, that's it. Um, guys, you know, YouTube algorithm time. Make sure you like and subscribe. You know, uh, click that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later on this week. I think Mercury is out. Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nato a ratness. Bounce like shit. I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spazzing square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm Booker the Whip.